The key to optimization problems are typically you're going to have two equations. We have a primary equation, that's what we're trying to maximize or minimize, optimize. Okay, optimize is the general term, either maximize or minimize. Sometimes we want to maximize something, sometimes we want to minimize something. Um, that's going to be your primary equation. So it asks for maximum volume, so volume is our primary equation. Your primary equation is the one you're going to take the derivative of. And we're going to derive that equation uh, here in a little bit. You're also going to have a secondary equation that's going to give you more information about the problem that you're going to have to use. So, what other information did they give us? They gave us surface area. That is going to be our secondary equation. We're going to use that to substitute. because usually we're going to have more variables than we can handle in one equation. So we're going to use that secondary equation to reduce the number of variables so that we can take the derivative with respect to one variable. Okay? So, I typically kind of set up um, three columns here. You may have done this in other classes before too. Um, kind of no knowns, unknowns, equations. There are different ways that you can do it. Um, but I write down what I know. I'm given that the area is 108 square inches. I'm going to put units just so that I keep that throughout the problem because at the end I'm going to have to include units. Don't forget on the free response question, usually you get at least a point for units. So if nothing else, you can at least write down the units for the answer. Okay, um, so I know that that's really the only given quantity that I have. Um, so equations, we've got volume. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about an open box with a square base and a height. So it can't hurt to draw a little picture of that. I am not the world's greatest artist, but I will give it a shot. Okay. Very strangely oriented box, but anyways. Um, It has a square base, so that's convenient, side lengths of, of x, and a height of h. So the volume of this box is the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base would be x squared, and the height is h. Okay, so again, we have too many variables in this equation. We only need one variable. That's where the uh, surface area is going to come into play. Now let's think about the surface area of a box. How do we find the surface area of a box? Area, area of a face times the number of faces. So the area of a face here is x squared because they're all square faces. How many faces do we have? Five because it's an open box. Okay, it's an open box. It doesn't have a lid, so we only have five faces. So the surface area here is 5x squared. And we know that that's 108 square inches, so we can go ahead and substitute that. <coughs> um, so divide by 5. Uh, 108 is not evenly divisible by 5. I don't, it doesn't reduce either. We're just going to have to leave it. Yeah, we're going to have to leave it. 108 over 5 is equal to x squared. Now, I'm not going to completely solve for x yet because um, I'm trying to substitute. I've got x squared in my other equation, so I might as well just leave it equal to x squared. So the unknown is the dimensions. So we need to know x and we need to know h. Now, if it's asking for a maximum volume, then that should, anytime you see the word maximum or minimum, you should think derivative equal to zero is going to give me uh, the values that I need. So we're trying to maximize volume, so we need to uh, take the derivative of 
volume, but before we do that, I'm going to substitute. Okay? Volume equals, instead of x squared, I'm going to write 108 over 5. Okay, and then I'm going to take the derivative, dv over, oh, hello, let's rewind just a second, uh, I just realized all these faces do not have the same area, I apologize, okay, when we go to the surface area, the bottom, the area of the bottom is x squared, but the sides, the area of the sides is x times h. I apologize. Mm -hmm. And we have four of those. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a cube. It's just a, it's a box with a square base. It's not a cube. My apologies. Um, okay, so there's our Aries formula. And that is equal to 108. Okay, so let's see here. Um, which variable can we solve for? Can we solve for x? Can we completely isolate x? No, we cannot completely isolate x. So our only option is to solve for h. So we subtract x squared. We've got 108 minus x squared equals 4xh. And then we divide both sides by 4x. We cannot simplify that equation. Okay, that equation cannot be simplified. You cannot simplify that 108 over 4 because the x squared does not have uh, a factor of 4. Okay, now we're going to substitute into our volume equation. Volume is equal to x squared times, we're substituting for h, You want to do as much simplifying as you can before you take the derivative because that could make taking the derivative easier. And in this case, you can simplify that x in the bottom with uh, the x squared. So that leaves you with just uh, an x in front. And before you think that this requires the quotient rule, that over 4, that's just a 1 fourth. Okay, so you can bring that in front. 1 fourth x times 108 minus x squared. Now, you may want to go ahead and distribute the x. You may, um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to leave the 1 fourth in front, but I am going to distribute that x. Okay. We okay so far? I haven't even taken the derivative yet. Okay. All I've done is substituted my secondary equation, and I've simplified to make taking the derivative easier. All right. Now we're going to take the derivative. The derivative of the volume with respect to this variable x, the length of the base, is equal to that one fourth is a constant multiple. So take the derivative of what's on the inside of those parentheses. The derivative of 108x is 108. The derivative of negative x cubed is negative 3x squared. We're trying to maximize the volume, so that's where the derivative equals 0. So 1 fourth doesn't equal 0. The only piece that can equal 0 is the 108 minus 3x squared. So I'm going to add the 3x squared to make it positive. Divide by 3, x squared is equal to, 3 goes in the chain, 336, is that correct? Yeah, okay, and then take the square root, so x is equal to plus or minus 6, I only include the plus or minus just to keep myself in the habit of taking the positive and the negative, but this is dimension, the negative doesn't make sense, so that says that the x is six inches and there are several different places that I could go to figure out the H but the easiest place I think would be um, to plug it into this piece where I've solved for H so 108 minus 6 squared divided by 4 times 6 
6 squared is 36, 108 minus 36 is 72, divided by 24, and that equals 3. So that says the height is 3 inches. And it asks for the dimensions, so those are your dimensions. The side length of 6 and the height of 3. Now, this would be on the calculator inactive section of, of the exam, um, but we could check it by graphing um, our volume formula, wherever it is, right here, that we simplified. Uh, 1 fourth, 108 x minus x cubed. You could graph it and um, look for its maximum. Obviously, it's off the charts right here, um, but you could adjust the window to find out that it's where x equals 6. Let me just look at the table. That'll be quicker. Okay. And you can see the volume's increasing, increasing, increasing until it gets there, and then it starts increasing. And And it's interesting that the volume is also 108 um, at that number. 